Hi guys, uh, like I said I'd uh, give you a little video on how I converted my uh, Mars Reflector 96 into a, my, my Veg Cob Light. And this is how I did it. You can see here, these are the four CXA um, 2540s and these are the two CXB 2540s. These are 3000 Kelvin, these are 5000 Kelvin. And I, uh, I wired them in uh, series. That means uh, that one comes out from the minus to the minus, to the, from the plus to the minus, from the plus to the minus, and to the driver inside. Same with these, plus, minus, plus, minus to the driver inside, minus to the plus inside, and the same with these two. These are the cob holders, and not very big. These cobs, they're around, I don't know, uh, yeah, 20 mil, two centimeters wide. They're not very big. And like I say, this was a rough build. It wasn't uh, wasn't done to be pretty. It was just done to be to be a cob. And uh, this plate here was I salvaged from um, the light. I took all the LEDs off the light and sanded it down just to save some money. And like uh, in hindsight, I really think I should have bought a new plate because it's really not very thick. It's only a, I think it's a, I don't know, a couple of mil thick. It's not very thick at all. And uh, the heat sinks on the back are not the, the best heat sinks in the world. So yeah, that's the front end of it. You can see the big screws here I put in. These are self tappers that I used. Oh, the holes. I made for the lights they were drilled with a, a 2.5 uh, drill bit and then I used um, 2.9 uh, uh, screws 2.9 millimeter screws to um, to secure the cob holders and of course there's uh, heat sink paste under the cobs and uh, yeah that's just about it with the top of the light I didn't tap the holes. I just I just uh, screwed them in, and uh, that that worked fine. Like I say, it wasn't made to be pretty. And uh, now, do you have a look in the inside of the light? Yeah, there it is. This is the inside of the Mars Hydro. You have three drivers. One, two, three, two fans. And uh, what I did is the. Uh, Plus and the minus for the two um, 5,000 Kelvins. Plus and the minus for the two 5,000 Kelvins on the other end. And then, of course, the plus and the minus here for the three, which I couldn't connect because I wouldn't have been able to open the box. I didn't bother touching any of this. They actually still work, the two switches for the light switches. So they actually still work. And each driver gives 55 volts and can't see the ampage. Uh, and I can't I just can't see it so yeah that's um, that's that end of it two fans they still work they connect it direct to the drivers so that's uh, that's pretty cool can't think of anything else there and if you want to look at the other side we can do that I think this is the other side of the light Uh, you can see here these are the heat sinks. They're like they're, they're not very um, impressive at all. See where I sanded the the um, plate down, and yeah, should have bought a new one, but I didn't, and that's that's uh, well, yeah, save some money there, I suppose. And uh, yeah, these this is the the cable to the two 3000 Kelvins and these are the cable run into but you can see like 96 di 96 uh, LEDs on this with these two heat sinks you can see like the problem people people are getting with the uh, with the lights blowing this just uh, I think it's something to do with maybe yeah maybe it's something to do with the they're not dissipate dissipating the heat oh yeah and there was another thing I reused um, the heat sink paste they put a lot of heat sink paste on actually so I, I reused that 
and didn't have to buy any heatsink paste at all because I just reused it from the back of these and that was uh, that was uh, that was that so I think that's just about everything can't go too much into the technical side of it because I don't really know a lot about it I got the idea for this from um, from a YouTuber or a grower on YouTube called Grow Mouse. Guy's a genius. He's uh, he's um, he's just a genius. And there's another one if you live in the states and uh, Pacific Light Concepts with the uh, uh, Green Gene. Another genius. They them guys are fucking my two of my heroes. They're two of the guys that got me into this. Uh, cob business and like I got me building my own lights and of course hacking other lights I think you can hack any LED if you've got one that's broken down and just uh, just hack it put some cobs in it they don't have to be really expensive for veg lights just uh, need to be like the, the ones I've got in here 36 volts and yeah the uh, it works fine as you saw from my uh, it, 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 it just works fine and uh, it pulls uh, 160 watts from the wall and that's with the fans running and um, that's with the fans and I think the cobs pull just over 50 from two two of the cobs pull just over 50 from from one of the drivers so three drivers and it's it, I think it put it, it runs at about 160 watts so well it does run 160 watts I think do I think anyway there's uh that's that's the light and there's one other thing I'd like to show you, which is uh, which again is from uh, uh, this little thing. Yeah, this is uh, this is what's. Uh, oh, let's zoom in a bit on it. This is what um, Gromos calls a flower initiator. What it is is um, three seven forty nanometers uh, infrared lights and what this does is when your lights go out in your, in your tent when your lights go out these come on for 15 minutes and the and the infrared sends your plant to sleep straight away so this like it's like bang and your plant goes to sleep and uh, instead of taking like the the one to two hours it normally takes for you for your plant to, to, to to start photosizing then uh, this is a uh, this sends them to sleep straight away in that 15 minutes and it's supposed to take five days five to seven days from flowering does it work I don't know I didn't start using it until six weeks into flower or five weeks into flower so I don't really know if it works or not but it's supposed to kick your plants into flower like five to seven days earlier and it's supposed to take them to, of course all them days off and it runs on a uh, 12 volt um, 12 volt I think it's 12 amp I'll just have a look at this a second and see if I can see what it is It's a 12 volt and it's a thousand milliamp, 12 amp, 12 volt, 12 amps. Yeah, th 12 volt, thousand milliamp uh, uh, driver. And the driver inside. And the driver inside is, uh, inside this, there's a driver which you connect that to. The power supply and it looks like this if I can get it out yes there it is that's what it looks like and then the LEDs of course they're like they come in this form they come in that form and that uh, driver there is um, I'll put it on there so you can zoom in on it and we can take a look at it so you can see the, the information on it that's the driver for the flower initiator it's worth a try they don't cost they cost next to nothing to build that's a, a, a aluminium square pipe uh, 30 millimeters each side 30 millimeters and uh, it's 30 millimeters around and that's uh, that's all it is so um, yeah 
give it a try because uh, I, I think I think it'll work. The next time I do photos, I say I've got some automatics in now, but next time I do photos, I'll definitely be using uh, using that this flower initiator and seeing if it works. So I think that's everything. Oh yeah, I used just used a computer um, connector for a fan to connect it all up. The drive this driver sits inside there, so it's uh, nice and neat. You just this, uh, these here, these three lights are big enough to cover a metre tent at two feet high, two feet off the off the canopy. So yeah, that's um, that's about it for the, for this one, guys. I hope you uh, well, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope to hope to see you. Well, hope to give you a video soon about the progress of the automatics. Bye for now. Bye.